Woodwiles and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you all along on a day in my life. Tomorrow the barn has a show, so I will be filming that, but considering how long editing takes, it may come out in a few weeks. Anyways, I don't really have much to say, so let's just jump in with today's vlog. My mornings typically start out with me making my bed. This honestly just gets me to a more productive start, and just cleaning my room in general makes me super organized and productive during the day. Then I'll usually just brush my hair, maybe pick out an outfit while I'm at it, but then after I do have to do schoolwork. My schoolwork usually takes me about 20 minutes to an hour in general, and today was a Friday, so it went by pretty fast. I'm homeschooled, and my mom is a teacher at the year-long high school. She's a substitute, so she doesn't work every day of the week, but she does work some. She was just about to start a meeting, and then I quickly called her and asked her a few questions that I had. After, I continued my schoolwork, and I finished within 20 minutes. After all my schoolwork was done, I got on some riding clothes. Pretty simple today, nothing too fancy. And then I got on my bike, and I went off. Personally, I like riding my bike to the barn. It's just super easy to move around and get going. And so I just plopped on my GoPro and off I went. Let's go! Like most equestrians, the first thing that I'm going to do when I get to the barn is check the notification board. This board has pretty much anything that you need to know on it, um, including feed charts and lesson schedules. I have two lessons today, one at 1pm and one at 3pm. The 1pm is, is with Snowball and the 3pm is with Pumpkin. I've probably mentioned Pumpkin in one of my other videos, but Pumpkin is a barn project horse who I'm helping with their training. My first chore today is to feed three of our horses here, Misty, P Angel, and Pumpkin, and I'm just going to throw together some of their supplements and grains into the buckets. I'm also going to fill up their hay nets. Normally when I get to the barn earlier, I will feed a lot more horses, but today I got to the barn pretty late, considering what I usually get to the barn to, so I just fed three horses today. to take care of Snowball myself, I just took the full commitment to take care of him, so I should be able to take care of him and do everything for him. Next thing I'm going to do is muck out the outdoor barn. This is honestly just an everyday tour for me. I do it every day. Next thing I'm going to do is clean out some of our brushes here. They are commonly used by the lesson students, so they are very dirty. It's finally time for lunch. So for lunch, today I'm gonna warm up some of my mom's homemade spaghetti that she made last night for dinner. It's super good and I'm really excited to eat it. So guys, I just finished my lunch. It was really good and I also talked with some of my friends for a little bit. So now I have about a half hour until my lesson with Snowball. I'm just gonna plop on my helmet as well as put on some gloves. Honestly, these are just necessities when it comes to riding, I personally think. So, yeah. I'm also going to put on some of my tall boots. I Paddock boots are okay to ride in, but I like tall boots the best. So just brought Snowball into the wash stall. It is shedding season for him, so he is like a shedding monster. And so it's just best if I groom him in the wash stall so it's a lot easier to clean up instead of his stall. 
I'm just gonna start grooming him now using all the essential brushes as well as the hoof pick and now I'm going to start tacking up. So I'm just placing on my matching saddle pad as well as my black saddle. Last thing I'm going to do is a bridle. I also attached and tightened the girth on both sides. So I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I am getting a little big on Snowball and he is getting kind of old. He's around like 10 years old. So the thing is, is that my birthday is coming up this week and my parents are debating on whether they are going to allow me to possibly lease or even buy another horse. I will keep you guys updated, but it's a possibility and I hope it is a yes because I think Snowball really deserves a fun life. He really isn't a competition pony. He just loves having fun and doing things that he's never done before. So just made it back from my lesson. Snowball did amazing. I did amazing. And my riding instructor is very surprised on how much he has progressed and changed. So guys, I just quickly groomed and untacked him. He did super well in my lesson today. I'm super proud of him. And I have about another, roughly about an hour until my next lesson with Pumpkin. So I think I'm going to ask Joanna if there's anything I can do around the barn as a chore because, you know, there's always something around the barn that I have to do. So everyone, I just asked Joanna if there's any other chores I could do and she asked me to organize the shelves and cabinets as well as the closet in the hangout room. I have Pumpkin here with me and we are just getting ready for a lesson. I already groomed her and now I think I'm going to go quickly tack her up and I will see you guys when we get into the arena. Dismounted Pumpkin and she did okay while we were tacking up. She didn't really like the bridle or the girth, um, part of the bridle, she didn't really like the bit. Um, 
She was a little uncomfortable with that, but otherwise everything else she seemed pretty fine with. And so I don't know if I've mentioned this, but in our lesson today with Pumpkin, we are literally just walking around for an hour. So we're just kind of trying to get her used to her surroundings as well as having different people of different sizes on her back. So it's just, she is a whole thing going on here and it's a lot. She's a little hesitant a little bit, but otherwise she's a really sweet pony and I think she's gonna improve greatly and I think she's gonna work really well. I do just quickly wanna talk about her rescue story. So I believe she was abandoned by her herd in the hollow woods. So the Vildale stables found her, they brought her in. They cared for her for a few months I think and they never really got around to you know, starting to train her, break her in, things like that. And then they realized, like, we don't have the time, we don't have the money, and we don't have the space to keep taking care of her. So they called in a bunch of different stables around Yorvik, and when they called us, we answered straight away and said, yes, we will take her. And now she's gonna be a barn project horse, and I get to be part of her training. lesson with pumpkin she did really well I'm both I'm proud of both her and snowball today so the barn is actually um, ordering pizza for all the people who are entering the show this weekend they do this every time there's a show and they do it the day before the show so tonight is the night that they're ordering pizza so I'm gonna lunge a few horses that'll probably take about two hours and then I will be able to join the party so we should probably get started because we have four horses that we need to lunge that is it for today's video it was uh, this is definitely a lot longer than my normal videos but again this is a day in my life video so it is supposed to be a little bit longer anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it it was really fun making it although it was absolutely exhausting i've been editing for hours also recording for hours but anyways i hope you guys have a great rest of the week and i will see you guys soon bye <laughs>